Progressive Governors Forum, DG alleges plot to hijack APC. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, the Director General of the Progressive Congress Forum, PGF, Dr. Saliu Lukman, has alleged plot by a section of the leaders of the All Progressive Congress, APC, to hijack the party structure. Lukman claimed that some party leaders are keen on manipulating the process on installing their stooges to run the affairs of the APC ahead of the 2023 general elections with rented delegates, in which case the new leadership of the party to emerge out of such a process can only be surrogate leaders whose mission may simply be to crown candidates for future elections, Lukman said in a statement. The PGF boss maintained that the development has been the bane of democracy and it is responsible for why internal democracy has eluded virtually all political parties in the country. He called for the immediate convocation of the APC National Executive Committee NEC, to ratify the nationwide membership registration exercise of the party. Lukman argued that the consideration of the membership registration by NEC would bring succor to the brewing crisis among the ranks of the party. The PGF boss position is coming against the backdrop of threats by a section of the party to take legal action aimed at stopping the governor, Mai Malam of Yubi State, who leads the APC caretaker committee from organizing the membership registration exercise. He maintained that the best route to address the leadership challenges in the party at all levels relies on the production of credible and verifiable membership register as enshrined in Article 9.4 of the APC Constitution. Listening the benefits inherent in the exercise, he noted that this is so fundamental and is, in fact, what should distinguish our party from all the other parties in the country. Any leader who is not comfortable means that such a leader doesn't have respect for members and is unwilling to subordinate himself or herself to members. If a leader is unwilling to subordinate himself or herself to party members, why should anyone risk investing any superior elective political power to such a person? Therefore, one would expect any leader of the party with any claim of being a progressive or even democratic politician to welcome the need to have membership registration verification ahead of the APC National Convention. In fact, even after membership registration verification, before we can satisfy that there are legal delegates for any national convention, APC would require world, local government and state congresses. These congresses need to hold ahead of the national convention to affirm that the delegates to attend the national convention have the authority of party members with such reality. The debate should be about how to conduct both the membership registration and congression in ways that assist in resolving the lingering leadership crisis in the party. Thank you for listening to this news. You see, my viewers, the issue of hijacking um, a party or taking position or taking um, the position that doesn't belong to you or replacing someone in a party is um, is a thing of the past. You understand? It, it doesn't exist anymore. Do you understand? It doesn't exist anymore. 
it can only exist if the party provides such an opportunity if the party provides such an opportunity let me tell you look at the issue of um, of um, adams oshomole when he was when he was in apc when he was still the chairman of apc yes i'm not in support of him but this part this time around i need to say something concerning concerning him it's called uh, something in favor of him you understand you see um yes adam oshomole wasn't doing well as a chairman in apc quite well but even worse, but then that doesn't mean that because he wasn't doing well someone from nowhere can just come and push him out of the position that he has been managing a position that he has been able to 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 use and install many governors and even install a president in a country you know you remember that um there is this uh, known politician that wanted to take over him just now when he, 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 he committed this error that led to his um, suspension in a, in APC and um, this particular politician was now installed as um, as a acting chairman of the of the APC but the moment President Momowari came in he saw the wrong that was done and immediately he put it right and demand for the stepping down of the man and asked Oshimole to resume his office back. So if anyone is to leave the position, I think is the person that decided to and not the party this that 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 decides. Yes the party can decide but at this level uh, they don't even do that anymore. They don't because they have seen the dissatisfaction part of it they have seen that it doesn't favor what is the what is that um what what, what probability that the person that you are actually bringing in is even the right person what if the person now go in there and flop and make rubbish of the party or make a mess of the party what are you going to say so is it not better that you put that person, that old man that you have on that seat right? Put him right. Tell him what to do and watch him do what you have instructed him to do. So hijacking the party, to me, I don't believe that it works again. So let us just forget all those things are black swimming and, um, you know, it's what happens in a party. You understand? Okay. So um, my viewers... I don't really know what your comment concerning all that have just been said, but please do me fit to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.